Welcome back to Crypto's Juiciest News, friends. BD Coin is at $43,000. It literally has crushed all its volatility, has it? There is absolutely nothing we can do about this. This is just a sign of maturing cycles, and it is what it is. You know, the bug eaters, unfortunately, now they're cuddling up to the Bitcoiners. Maybe they're trying to be cool. Maybe they're trying to usher in that new green energy policy. They're trying to do all these weird things, and they're all working in the background. And whatever the next plan thing arrives, we just got to be ready. Because when it comes, friends, you're just going to see how you can't, you, you can't just put a formula in markets. You can't just say, I'm going to do one thing forever. I, I wish we could, friends. That's why a lot of people who are like in medicine industry or engineers or really smart people, they actually trash investors. It's because, you know, in medicine, it's like, okay, this person's sneezing. What do you do? Okay, give him a jelly bean. You prescribe a jelly bean. Okay, if you're an engineer, you go, okay, I want to build a bridge. I want it to be stable. It's got to carry, you know, 20 tons of weight. How do I do it? There, okay, there's a formula. There's maths. In markets, it's not like that. In markets, it's oh, BitBoy was a top signal in twenty twenty in in twenty twenty one maybe maybe have things like that, and in the next cycle he's not going to be a top signal because he's got better. Okay, so if you try to use BitBoy as top signals for the again you're not going to get it at all. It's the same thing with other people out here. People are learning over time. That's why the markets it really is like a game and a sport. It's never never truly static. And if we look at the Bitcoin price, we're still moving around doing absolutely nothing here now. I know blockchain backer, he puts this up here, but it's not to be 100% specific when it comes to like this fractal. He's not saying, oh, we're going down like this. He's just, he's basically, what he's thinking about is he's like, well, maybe we're screwing around. We have another poke up and then there's something happens. But at the end of the day, what he's just basically, basically he's not expecting this fractal to continue playing out, which is, that's why it's tough. Does the market expect that fractal? I don't know. I haven't seen surveys and stuff. It's a very, very tough question. But you, you kind of expect everyone really is. It's just that no, nothing is appearing to show us that everyone is positioned for that. So we're all long altcoins, okay? And obviously, there's a lot of people long Bitcoin and Ethereum. A lot of people are positioned for, if you look at it, what they're actually positioning for is Bitcoin and Ethereum to keep rocketing and then altcoins to do nothing until the very end. That's how everybody's positioned for. That's why they're in Bitcoin and Ethereum focused portfolios. If you look around, friends, I mean, you know, I'm still getting medium articles and like like th these different like, you know, reports and stuff. I just br browse through, you know, every single one, every one mentions Ethereum restaking, every single one. And you think, oh, wow, what's wrong with earning 7% yield? That is 7% yield over the year. I'll tell you what's wrong with that. What's wrong with that is everybody else in the game is also trying to earn 7% yield with you, which means everybody else in the game has their Ethereum locked up with you, which means the emotional money is not in altcoins yet, which means altcoins are underpriced. That's what you're going to start to see play out over time. You know, I hope this thing plays out, but what if it doesn't? What if Bitcoin goes sideways like this and ends up plunking down? But this doesn't mean everything else goes down. Like, friends, you're already seeing as well, it, it takes less of a Bitcoin move now for everybody to believe that altcoins are going to fly and here to stay. Like we get really, really, really excited really fast. And this is like, it's important just to know this because a lot of people are just going to sit on their hands and not deploy and not do anything. I know a couple of friends been messaging me like I could just, I could feel the FOMO. I could feel it. They really have fear, really have fear. They want to make things back, make things back. And a couple of more patterns of this, you're going to start to see people do giant clips and unfortunately they're going to end up regretting it, you know? So where are we going to go from here? Well, if we just keep moving on this fractal, hopefully it goes sideways. In the US Fed, friends, that's the important part. The yield curve is inverted and I just want to remind you, okay, the yield curve, super inverted. However, the US Fed said, it basically said, it's crazy. It's basically like, okay, the, the bug eater insiders know a big crack is coming. They know it's coming. But the U.S. Fed, also bug eater insiders, they've actually said, well, right now, you guys are actually a bit stronger than we think, okay? It's like, if I'm going to hit you on the head with a hammer, okay, and I'm going to say, I'm going to hit you like 10 times, and I hit you like the fourth time, and you're like, you know what? I can't believe you're still standing, right? That's exactly what the Fed's trying to do. You're trying to crack everything out here. Have a look at the yield curve, by the way. The yield curve, deeply inverted, Okay. Now, as a reminder, I see this big area where we are right now. The doom comes when you uninvert. And how do you uninvert? 
it's when they start cutting rates. It's when the bond market starts pricing in the rate cuts, and that's what the that's what happens too. Um, that's what the Fed ends up following the US two years. It's one of my I made many many videos on this too to show you that. So when when they start doing that, that's when you get this big fat spike up. See this part here. This is Fed cuts rates. Fed cuts rates. Fed cuts rates is a zombie virus. Okay, yeah. And if we go up here, there will be the Fed cutting rates again. But we're not there yet. So the 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 interest rates, the differentials, and the just the probabilities of how how they expect it to play out. They're basically still expecting a hold for this next FOMC, March seventeenth, coming up, and then to, uh, the March for the May first one, May first. There there's like a thirty percent chance of a fifty basis point cut. You know, friends, if we get a 50 basis point cut, that's basically like, think of, just think about it, man. just think about it. Because if they cut 50 basis points the first one, I don't think they will. I don't know if they will. But if they do, just imagine the, the retailers on the sidelines, what they're going to do. They're going to be literally, they're saying, oh, I've had 40 grand sitting in this whole time. I'm not invested. They'll finally buy the tops. That's why we might have this old season that repeats itself, hopefully, and we actually keep moving up into that. And we actually, see, that's... The sad part, the reality is, if we actually have the old season and we go up for Feb, March, April, okay, and then May first they cut. Think about it, that's three months of people deploying and going up. When we they find the final rate cut, the final weekends get in, and that's why I'll be making my videos like friends. You know that rate cut? Yeah, we priced that in for the past three months. Altcoins went up, expecting rate cuts like this and thinking about the next rate cuts, but. It is what it is, friends. Remember, they, rate cuts are bearish. Okay, rate cuts are bearish. It's kind of like, it's like putting literally a bandage over your head. Okay, if I put a bandage over your head, is that good, friends? If you see one, if you see someone's head with a bandage, you go, oh, they're healed. No, no, no. You're like, oh, what's the damage under that? What damage were they trying to put under that? Under that? Did they crack their skull? You know, the, the things you're thinking about. But there is damage under there, right? No one just wears a bandage over their head for no reason. You're hoping it's a little cut, but okay, that's the important part. So also we saw Genesis. So Genesis, a trash brokerage, okay? Genesis have filed to dump 30,900 BTC. Here is the article out here, okay? So their trash brokerage, Genesis. You remember these friends? Genesis, they were part of the FUD narrative that appeared in Bitcoin at the very, very bottom of, of, um, of the bear market. You can see right here, right here. Genesis, they're appearing down here, friends, because they were linked like Grayscale. I forgot what it is. Gen friends, Genesis is one of these insiders, <laughs> insiders, because what ended up happening was, okay, it's it's lost in time now, but I, I was reporting on it. So Genesis, okay, because of like, because they're bankrupt now, people could like basically talk shit about them. So what ended up happening is you end up finding out, you know, all those, you know how we know crypto, Bitcoin is like deeply manipulated, especially back in the day when it was like thinner liquidity. Genesis were one of the conduits for that because they have a lot of Bitcoin. And so all these insider scum, what they do is they'd go borrow like, you know, 50,000 Bitcoin from them, pay them in fiat, right? And then go and then and try to smack it down. So yeah, Look, obviously there's no like complete paper trail that you and I can track, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out. Like they were basically the main hub. They're lending out Bitcoin here and then. That's why friends, you know, JP Mosquito and all these, there was, there's like, there is 100% evidence so there's actually articles out here showing you weird illicit strange activity that appeared after the cme futures launched in 2017 for bitcoin showing you erroneous random amounts of accounts linked to deposits that came from exchanges and banks okay so it's very very obvious you read between the lines basically they tried to really kill Bitcoin back in 2017 with the cme futures launch they really tried to kill it they had all these enormous spot selling like it was they really actually tried to send it to zero that's why it was actually vicious now with genesis here they're actually bankrupt they filed for bankruptcy and they have genesis earn which are the people just earning guild on it okay remember they're like the wing for gemini and stuff now friends i'm not saying like they're they're buggers themselves i'm just telling you like it just it doesn't take a genius if you, you, you if you just saw this information put it together you're like oh i see what they were doing okay but for now they filed to the court. They want 30,900 BTC to dump, okay? And this is another round of giant selling coming for Bitcoin along the side the 140,000 BTC for Mt. Gox. There's Silk Road. There's 30,000 there. Dump, 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 dump. So look, it doesn't mean the dump sent it to zero. No, no, no. It just means bull market's not really here. That's what it means, okay? That's what it means. So the, the bull market doesn't start until all the sellers are gone. 
that's it. That's when the bear market really ends. What the bear market means just means like, you know, like we're just not going to make high highs. You already know that. But look, we've been down so long that you and I, like, for example, let's just use examples. Chaining at $18, $17, like obviously I wanted to go to 150 bucks, but at least you're not five bucks. You know what I mean? Like, like you're on, on the way up. Same thing for like, you know, Pulse Chain and Pulse 6, they're starting to move up. Now, obviously Hex has got a big, big issue still being down minus 95.55%. But, you know, let's say Hex got back to like five cents. Now, I know that's, that's a joke, right? Minus 90% from the high. But you can just tell everyone's like, okay, sweet. It feels like it's on the way up now. You know what I mean? But it's just that if Hex got to like total Hex, right, got to 10 cents, might come back down like four. That's like a six. That's a sixty percent drop, and we're gonna feel really bad on that, even though it's a higher point from here. Okay, but you know those big drops. Those big drops, traditionally, they only and always happen when Bitcoin's under the all-time high in each cycle. So Bitcoin's under the all-time high. It means euphoric mania ain't here. You, you stop and start enough. You, you get just enough hope, and then it kind of like you know reverts itself, and there's more fud here along the way. But you can see it's been a very long, brutal, vicious bear market. So everything going up from here, you're probably in your mind. Your mind is anchoring to the pain of 2022, the pain of early 2023, things getting crushed. So anything from up here, it feels like, oh, you know, thank God you're moving up. So it's not as bad as anyone thinks. However, it is going to be bad for all the new people coming in. All right. So if you're in here now, it's not going to be bad. But because there's going to be people who are buying, for example, um, Pulse at 3x above day one sack. And then 4x, and then whatever drops down 60% back to one and a half x above day one sec. Or if they buy hex at like, there's gonna be people buying hex at eight cents, right? Combined hex value eight cents, wherever p hex and e hex is, right? So it might be like, you know, five cents and three cents, for example. They might just buying one, they might, might buy p hex at five cents, and then they see it drop 60%, and there's people sell the lows. You know, we're gonna go through all of that all over again. That's This is the next, like, the phase two part we've gotta to adjust to. Speaking of adjustments, friends, I hope you're ready for some poop. The chain link price hit $18.80. I was pumping, but then the founder, Sergi, sent $144 million to Binance. And you can see I made this funny picture, right? So Sergi took a big fat dump on all these ladies. I mean, look, it's true. It's true. Like all of these, these, <laughs> this is the Link Marines, friends. Look, nothing compares to the meme engagement of Pulse Chain, Pulse X, X, nothing. But if the, there is a second place, it goes to Link, Link Marines. The, the, there is re, it's really funny, friends. It's 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 self-deprecating. It, it's funny. It's more it's more neutral and independent. And <laughs> there's no like the, there's there's Sergi worship. It's bipolar. It's it's Sergi worship. And no, wait a minute. You know what? I th think about that. No, Richard Hart has the same thing. It's just people go like super all in. Like Rich is the best. Price goes down, scam. It's actually the same thing now that I think about it. It's just different flavored friends. That's it. These are all the girls getting their like their, their base studies. All they did was this is this is not. <laughs> friends, do you want Richard Hart to be showing you the public salaries of these people? Do you want that? Because this is what you get every time there's a red candle. By the way, every time there's a red candle, you get people finding up these people, telling you their salaries, how much they earn. 289k 300k salaries for these girls and stuff and then people and then people linking this okay people linking 144 million dollars dumping here and there so it just it invites unnecessary stuff it, it's a it's, it's the game man it's it's a new we're in a new asset class this you just you have to accept the risk that's why there's reward okay just imagine for example if all every crypto was like legally obliged to show all the salaries and all this and all that, right? You'd probably look at stuff and you'd be like, oh, what? like you might be like more happy, you know, you, you might feel more certainty and stuff here and there, you know, it just introduces a lot of problems. And then when things go down, it doesn't work. It just, yes, you get to see now. It's better if you want the returns to be early now. There are no rules like that. It's literally every man or a woman and squirrel and pup for themselves and ducks too. Okay. Everyone for themselves. And that's what you want to be in. So it's interesting, right? As soon as the, the price popped up for Chainlink, it comes up here. See, it looks, it looks all right. It flipped green on the daily super trend. This is actually insane to see. This is what I want to see. But of course, the real chart 
is Link XRP. I mean, friends, it's, it's getting closer and closer to flipping, man. Imagine when it hits 0 0.5 here. That's going to be crazy. Halfway to flipping XRP. I can also show you just Chainlink versus Ethereum. Let's just show you like how cheap this is. Look at this. This is, this is like, what are you doing down here? So I'm hoping this just continues up for this year. And I don't like doing fibs on ETH pricing because ETH is just very wild, these fibs. But like if you just if you had to guess somewhere it goes, I'm hoping it just it moves itself up to just say the 50% zone here. You know, that, that's actually that's a big distance away because from here to here, that's 3.2x from here if we get to 3.2x that is oh man that's that's let's do 17 dollars times that's chaining breaking its all-time high by the way so that it's kind of ridden i mean isn't that wild that's what how does that happen but that's if that's if ethereum moves nowhere if ethereum moves nowhere what if ethereum did a plus 50 percent move over this year that's inc that's crazy that means to get there chaining ends up being 75 dollars that means chaining breaks it's all time high by the end of the year, but just you see what I mean. You still have these. Don't worry about these all these dumping stuff here and there. That's what happens. It's, it's the same thing in the hex pulse and pulse X community. It's all, always just fud. There's, someone's click and sell everywhere, friends. You know that, right? Someone's click and sell. You know when you provide liquidity, you click and sell pretty much too. Like everyone, there's there's sellers everywhere. It's just that the crypto industry's growth rate is so high that it, it all gets basically dispersed over time. Also, the dog with hat founder. So I already made a video on this. I made this yesterday, right? The dog with hat, the creator. So he, he created the meme, but not the original token on Soy, Soylana. He's caused chaos with his relaunch. So I made a whole video dedicated. And he basically, obviously, we just went through and he, he said, this is the real dog with hat. And I just want to show you what ends up happening because all his friends insiders got in. But if, like... It's funny, the Soylana people, it's everyone's in chaos because on one hand, everyone's like, oh, oh, you, your friends got to click in early. See, so his friends like made all this money pretty much, all these top traders. That's him and all his friends getting in. They're putting 400 bucks. See, this guy turned 250 bucks into $192,000. So, but then again, you're like, wait a minute, they're meme coins. Of course, it's like this. What were you expecting? Okay, so just what you, what's that's happening now is, Soylana's memes and the altcoins, they've slowed down, okay? So because they've slowed down and there's a lot of rugs now, rugs are starting to appear, you're starting to see people, they've left that complacency mode. And you can feel it, right? You can feel it. So, you know, this complacency, friends, this is, you can just tell, right? So Soylana goes up, there's belief, there's thrill, there's euphoria, right? You know what, you know what euphoria for Soylana was? I am a genius, we're all going to be rich, that equivalent was, I'm a genius, Soylana's going to flip Ethereum. That's what it is. They go, oh, sweet, we've still got like, you know, we've got another 10x to go. We just did another, we just did 10x. We've got another 10x to go. We're going to do 100, okay, because we're going to flip Ethereum. We bet you're all going to be rich. That's what it was. And then you start to see this complacency. This is where we are right now. So people are, this is this is what's happening. This chart right here, this is Sol ETH. And you can see, right, look where we are right now, friends. See this? See this lower high? Now, it's it's very, very tough to, like, just see that the, the Wall Street cheat sheet applies to you. We might even say, oh, it's euphoria up here. Everyone said we're going to flip Ethereum. We've come back down. You see this little retracement here? So it's just interesting, right? That's where complacency always happens. It's you get that euphoria. We come back down because they're so euphoric no one cares because you've gone up so much. You see that? You see you're so high on the drugs. This part's up here, amazing. So this part's nothing, right? Now, you come up here and everyone's like, well, 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 what's going on here? So the, what's complacency? You're starting to see weird stuff in terms of like, wait a minute. This dog we've had stuff, it like had this full-on 60-minute hype cycle. That's just people who've already made the money. They're all holding. See, they're all holding and they, they think more buyers are coming in. They still think that, but there's none actually coming in. But, but they all like, wait a minute, I've been... I'm, I'm just continuing to do what I've done before, just continue to hold. Now, no buyers are coming in, so what ends up happening is things have slowed down a bit. Okay, you get that little complacency bump, and what we're doing, we're seeing is they just do super fast rotations because everyone's like, well, you know, things have slowed down a bit, and, you know, maybe, maybe there's people here that turn 50K into 500K, 
And they're like, well, I've got 500K. So they feel like, oh, I could I could spend 100K to try and make a million and stuff, right? So they, of that, they do a 100K clip, okay? They do, they weren't doing any clips before. They just had their 50K of Solana just sitting in there. They weren't adding anything, right? So now think about that. Think about that's why everything's ferocious now. Now that we've gone to a point, you've basically marked up how much wealth they think they have, right? Because it's all paper gains, yeah? And then you, they have 100K, they're doing a quick rotation. They were not doing 100K rotations like a year ago back when the price was moving up because they didn't even have it, okay? They didn't even have to do it. But that's why you start to see these weird things and look what they're going into. Another meme coin somewhere there, dog with hat people, you know what I mean? So <clears throat> it's interesting to see these play out. Now, it doesn't mean, okay, it's the end forever. It just means that, see, this is the tough part. It's, you never know how high your, your euphoria will go. You don't know, because if it stops early, and the bull market is still underway for crypto, well, then you have a chance of like, you know, doing a nice clean reset, nice and clean, still vicious, like minus 60% here and there, right? And then being able to continue later on. So th th there's no formula when it comes to this. That's why truly the only way to make it is to freaking believe and be right. That's literally the only way to make it. There's no cheating. There's no like, oh, sell on a 2X and then sell 20%. Nope. Nope. It doesn't get you over, it doesn't get you over the hurdle enough. It's literally, it is just... It is that you really just have to be a full-on believer, friends. And you know what, right? How do you make it to the ship end? Okay, ship did a 400x in a week. Then it went on to do another 1,000x after that 400x. Okay, 40,000x there. So if you're not a believer, you're never ever going to hold through that. So there you go. On the final good news though, right? PulseX, friends, bought another 1 billion coins over the past 24 hours. Total 690 billion that have now been bought. It's beautiful to see, right? So you see these Pulsex down here. <clears throat> here we go, 3.37%. What I like to do is, friends, just to like to play around with some like nice juicy green here because clicking around here, you can just see the past week, I mean, ink's up 50%, past 30 days. That's all you want to see. You want to see green coming along. And we're just in this waiting mode, right? It, it, basically what it is, is it's, there's a, there's a markup, okay, markup. So whales come basically smash buy spot and then just go sideways they're still accumulating slowly they're waiting for it to and then it eventually run out of those and we get for the second leg and hopefully that leg is right around the corner like subscribe belly button all catch you soon